Hello and welcome to another Prolani video. So today I wanted to switch it up a bit after FreeBSD videos and show you my Windows 10 LTSC setup for 2023. So let me just show you my version. There it is. So I have 21H2 Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. And if you don't know what LTSC is, it's the long-term service channel or before that it was called the long long-term service branch and it's just a most stripped down version of windows that you can find and um it doesn't have any nonsense any pre-installed games or uh, xbox stuff or anything so it's for me it's like the only acceptable acceptable version of windows which is why i have it um, the two main annoyances that I always had with Windows 10 were uh, telemetry and um, so the, you know, the spying and <clears throat> and Windows updates, uh, the forced Windows updates, so you can't really disable Windows updates, but you can disable them on Windows 10 LTS C. So let me just show you. If I go over here to Windows Update, it's gonna say some settings are managed by your organization. Your organization has turned off automatic updates. So my Windows 10 LTSC will not auto update or force me to update or prompt me to update unless I specifically check for updates, which is um okay but you know it was better when uh we could select stuff from the windows update menu like windows 7 or whatnot but it's still better than having forced updates so this is uh this is quite okay now when it comes to my when it comes to telemetry of course you can use some programs and whatnot uh what i use is i install spy boot search and destroy the free version and i just use their anti-beacon anti which uh, here's my host file for Windows. Uh, so it just installs in your host file a bunch of, uh, um, you know, Windows 10 telemetry servers and it, it, and it blocks it that way. So Windows uh, updates fixed through um, disabling them uh, via registry and the telemetry stuff I've disabled through the host file with again, spy boot uh, anti beacon which you can get in the uh, free version and just uninstall like I did. Okay, so I just, let's just have a look at my programs. Let me just pop that up. Actually, before that, I'll just show you my desktop. So what I have is I, I have the 6800 Ultra wallpaper here currently, and I always use the wallpaper in a very, you know, like a, a small uh, version. So, because usually when you have like a, a large wallpaper that covers everything, it just it makes some icons hard to see. But when you have a small one, you still have a wallpaper, but you have, you know, icons like uh, white text on a black background. So it really pops and really keeps uh, things very neat. Just a small little detail, but it's just how I like, like to have it. And I kind of have like this uh, Windows 10, Windows XP hybrid. So as you can see down here, I have the Windows XP style and Windows Vista style uh, taskbar. So I have my start button over here. I have my quick launch over here and some other programs over here. And I have my, so this is my work area. And I also have my status icons over here and uh, my time and date over here. Um, now, uh, let me just pop up the start menu. So here's my start menu. So it, this is more like a Windows 98 style, 95. As you can see, it's very, uh, very clean. You basically can't get a more clean uh, start menu than this. There's no icons. I removed all the icons, everything. Shortened everything up. So it's just uh, my programs, computer settings, search, help and run. And when I just click start, I immediately I can immediately start to search just like in a, in any other um, 
you know, start menu. So I'm not missing out on anything. Okay, so this is actually uh, with open shell. So this is all this is done through open shell. Um, my icons, quick latch icons, which, which I have here. I absolutely uh, keep a lot of them over here. Just, just like what I found to be the most functional over the years. Again, the work area, icons, and I have my, so this is actually T clock. Okay, T clock because I like to have my date as well as the time um, as opposed to just having the time or having the date and the time but having to double the taskbar. So if you install T-Clock, you'll have that uh, option to have it very, um, you know, very narrow uh, in a single line. Okay, so let's have a look at my programs just, just to show you uh, what I use in 2023. Uh, just to have kind of a, which is what I actually wanted to do throughout this video, just to show you um, what I kind of use since the XP days up until now, because so, I have a lot of uh, old programs here, not in the latest versions or anything. So let's just go line by line and see what we got. So Google Chrome, Google, Google Chrome I use, I actually use Firefox on this system. I used to use, um, and I still use, um, some Firefox forks uh, on FreeBSD, but on Windows I use just Firefox ESR. So ESR is the extended support support release, which is uh, you know you don't really get all the latest updates. You just get the uh, security updates for uh, until a new version comes out, which is what I like. Um, but I do use Chrome just as my secondary browser if I need to, because many websites are simply more compatible with Google Chrome. Microsoft Edge, uh, this is something that you can remove from Windows, but I, I definitely do not recommend you ever remove it because you'll have problems or could have potential problems with Windows Update and uh, with uh, some other stuff. So I always keep uh, Microsoft Edge installed. Again, Firefox, ESR, my main browser. Oprah I use as a, I mean, Firefox and Chrome are actually modded. Uh, I have add-ons, I have uh, some stuff, it's settings, a whole bunch of settings changed. Oprah I just have like vanilla ins installation because um, sometimes I just need a vanilla browser. Uh, and this is, this is what I use Oprah for. Google Drive, I kind of use it just because I can. So this is just a game that I play. Um, Office, I use uh, Professional Plus 2019. I did use um, 2010 for a long time. Um, but 2019 I installed because it has the all black theme. Where the, like in, in Word, you can actually have in 2019 and you can have it in previous versions. Um, you can have the, actually the page itself uh, in black or dark dark color so that's kind of easier in a dark room which i kind of prefer gimp i use as a photoshop alternative i also have photoshop installed but i also use gimp just for like quick stuff where i don't want to uh you know use the full potential of photoshop i prefer to use gimp for like simple edits Bad Company 2, one of my old games, which I like. Punk Buster is for Bad Company 2. Google Earth Pro. Um, this is just for Street View. VLC is my favorite uh, um, media player. I haven't really found a video player which is better than VLC. And I've been using it for like ages. I've been using BS player, uh, or I have been using BS player for a long time since the, you know, like Windows XP days, but it's like super uh, incompatible with a lot of HEVC stuff and whatnot. So VLC just works with everything. <clears throat> exact audio copy. So it's here. That's this is actually for, for uh, ripping your uh, audio CDs. So you can extract the audio from a damaged CD that you have maybe and just put it on your put it on your uh, on your system. ACDC Pro 5, this is my uh, 
this is my um <clears throat> uh picture viewer um for me it's like the best one uh and this is version or variant uh, five so version five so that's like from 2010 11 and it still works great so it just kind of uh what i like to what i like to use um so let me just show you maybe uh really quickly so, so this is uh acdc quick view and as you can see it's uh, actually just kind of uh very you know minimalist very fast uh just these are very large files actually so it's it does take a second to load them but on smaller files it's just it's pretty much instant so that's what i prefer to use bunch of c plus plus redistributables firmark uh firmark i use for uh, testing the gpu stability so where is it that's uh firmark um it's uh, ozone 3d so it's like this is actually the version that i prefer 1.8.2 which isn't the latest by any stretch but it's just uh there's no point in having newer one this one i like the best i'm using a Maxwell GTX 750, which is pretty old school, but I have it uh, running in fanless mode. It's just like a, just like a HTPC card for like uh, some light gaming and uh, pretty much nothing else, like watching videos and stuff. And the reason I have a GPU stability uh, program is to when I was testing, uh, you know, run it running in a fanless mode. I've removed the active fan from it just to see what what kind of attempts i would get and stuff and stuff like that so yeah as you can see it's uh, from april 2010 so it's, it's it's not the latest but you really don't need anything uh this is gonna i think this is gonna tax pretty much any gpu on the market uh flash player 11 pretty old school pretty outdated but i still have it left for that too co-op game which i like portal some games um by the way my favorite uh tactical fps game of all time rainbow six three uh, power toys power toys are great power toys are power toys are uh from microsoft so these are power toys and actually i only use uh, one thing from all of these which is uh which is my keyboard manager so i have my key some remapped keys as you uh on freebsd i i made my own uh, keyboard uh, mappings for like everything for um uh for uh i3 the window manager but <clears throat> here i just use a few things but you can do a lot of things you can do i definitely recommend you, you have power tools installed um, you can do a lot of things and this is all made by Microsoft so you, you know you're gonna get uh, some uh, there's not, not gonna be a whole lot of uh, if any compatibility issues so those are power toys crisis I have to have that just for just for the sake of uh, having some old-school stuff physics <clears throat> this is the legacy driver which I use uh or what eddie so this is my vpn uh, actually this is my vpn client uh, it is open source so uh, i'm using air vpn as you can see uh, and it's made by our vpn so i i'm gonna go into that in a, in a separate video but i'm definitely after changing many vpn providers i've definitely settled on uh, air vpn it's just uh, unbeatable for me in terms of options or anything it's just it's just phenomenal some of the media drivers uh lock hunter now lock hunter i use uh so let's say you you can delete a folder or a file so what lock hunter will do is um you know you can just uh, let's say you can't delete uh, i can delete this this folder it's gonna say you know like um so if i press delete it's just gonna say let's say it says you know cannot uh, delete this folder it's in use by another program so it's not gonna show you which one it is 
but if then if you like right click and, and click what's locked in this folder it's going to show you so as you can see these are the locking processes so you can just unlock it delete it or take some other action so lock hunter is great it's uh i definitely recommend it and i think it's free so acrobat 11 pro just pdf stuff big is for video editing speed fan i use for uh um for just uh ramping up the fans when my gpu temps are too high but on audacity i use for like audio editing contagious for video recording narrow nine uh narrow nine there is for uh, some <laughs> DVD burning and CD burning. Uh, pretty old school stuff, but I uh, I like having it. Nothing really beats narrow when it comes to uh, burning some DVDs and CDs. Photoshop is Photoshop Fraps. I like Fraps. Uh, Fraps I use for checking out my frame rate in games. Um, but, you know. If uh, if your game has an uh, inbuilt tool, then you don't really need it. Afterburn for uh, downclocking and uh, undervolting my GPU um, because of temps. Winamp, I, I like Winamp. Winamp is uh, old school. Uh, 5.666 is the last build that's good. That's uh, made by Nullsoft. Um, it's quite li literally the, the last one. A new company released, I think, an update for it, but I, I prefer to use the the old one, just because uh, it's like I said, it's it's it was still made by Nullsoft. Steam Handbrake, um, Ida sixty four. This is my favorite uh, program for uh, checking the you know the PC specs and whatnot. You're just gonna see like everything on your PC, so you're not gonna have any any problems. Um, Hardware Monitor Pro. Uh, this is for checking the temps. Uh, Kali Codec Pack is for video codecs. Semantic. Now Semantic, I'm probably gonna do a video, a super video on it. Um, the section now under Broad Broadcom. Or it's owned by Broadcom, but Semantic is um, it's a uh, SEP so software. So I have it for like uh, virus, spyware, uh, proactive threat detection uh, as a firewall, as like everything. So I use it for like everything, and it, it's it's fantastic. And honestly, um, I haven't used a better suite of. Um, security software for Windows, so I, I definitely love uh, Semantic Endpoint. Um, OpenAI is for audio, Deluge uh, is for torrenting, WinRAR is for uh, my RAR files, and we have a bunch of Logitech stuff, and my custom Unizonar drivers for my uh, sound card. And that's pretty much it. So that's, uh, that's what I wanted to cover basically in this video. Um, just to give you an idea of uh, what I have, what kind of a setup I have for Windows as opposed to FreeBSD. Because I'm usually using FreeBSD, but um, I do use Windows uh, a lot lately. So, yeah. Okay, that, that should be for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.